Welcome back to my channel. This is my no buy list for 2023. If you haven't already tuned in or you're new to this channel, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Welcome to my channel and I hope you enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. started with sunglasses. I will not be adding sunglasses to my collection in 2023. I have about 15 to 20 different pairs of sunglasses, all designer. I don't need any more sunglasses. So I find that as long as you have one maybe two or three is the perfect number two to three sunglasses a casual pair a dressed up pair and maybe a fun exciting different uh, pair that kind of adds a little flavor to your outfit that's really all you need 15 is excessive but i had a thing i went through a phase where i just loved sunglasses and had to have them in my collection so i am good on sunglasses i don't need to add any more next item on my list designer high heels and pumps as well as special occasion pumps. I found that I have quite a few pumps, including the Manolo Blahnik Hangizi pumps in blue. I wore these on my wedding day. I initially fell in love with these pumps when I saw them featured on Sex in the City when Big proposed to Carrie Bradshaw. I'll try to link a clip of that here. Uh, but I love I love those pumps, and while they're gorgeous and I don't regret purchasing them or adding them to my collection, they are a true classic. I never really reach for them. They're high, they're uncomfortable. I don't find that I'm going any place that's that special that would warrant those high heels. I don't need to add any more designer pumps to my collection. The other few items that I have in terms of designer high heels, I have a pair of Giorgio Armani velvet pumps. I have a pair of Gianvito Rossi black pumps. I have a pair of Jimmy Choo pumps that I never wear. I don't need to add any more designer heels. Eyeshadow palettes. I don't know about you, but I have found that at one point I had about 10 different eyeshadow palettes, never got through any of them, only reached for maybe three colors in each palette, and I ended up having to throw them out because of the expiration date or the shelf life that goes on the back of the palette if you haven't already seen that i'll try to link a picture here most cosmetic and beauty care products do come with a shelf life and i found that the shelf life was coming up much quicker than i was able to get through the product so from now on if i need to add a beauty product or cosmetic item to my collection i will be going straight for that one or two colors instead of the entire palette so the next no item i won't be adding to my collection in 2023 lip glosses and lipsticks i have about 20 to 30 different lip glosses and lipsticks all in a variety of different shades. Again, I never find that I get through a bottle. The two that are the exception are the Charlotte Tilbury and Pillow Talk. Absolutely love that shade. I find that it complements most skin tones and the Glossier in the color Jam. That's my winter favorite. Other than that, I do not need to add any more lip glosses or lipsticks, although I do love them, but I don't need them. The next item on my list I will not be adding to my collection is perfume. I have about 10 different perfumes and I really only reach for two to three. Plus, as I'm getting older, I'm gonna be turning 40 this May. I find that I really need to come into my own in terms of having a signature scent. I'm sure you've heard about this from other either YouTubers or influencers, but it's always nice to have that one signature scent that people remember you by. The three scents I reach for the most are the Aura Bay perfume, and I will link that for you here, the Baccarat Rouge 540, which I added to my collection last year, and the Jo Malone in Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Those are my three favorites. Outside of that, there aren't very many that I reach for in my collection, so they're essentially sitting there on my shelf looking beautiful but being wasted. The next item I won't be adding to my collection in 2023, foundation. I rarely wear foundation anymore. As I've started taking care of my skin, I found that I can get away with wearing my tinted SPF and a little bit of concealer, and that's really all I need. I've actually found that wearing foundation can be quite uncomfortable on my skin. It makes my skin feel itchy and cakey and just like I have too much product on. Plus, working from home, I find that I really don't need to wear a lot of makeup. Again, I put on my SPF, maybe a little bit of concealer in the right places, and that's that's all I need and I'm good to go. The next item that I will not be adding is black bags. I found that I have so many black bags, and the only exception to this is the Gucci Jackie in 1961 in the black leather with the gold hardware. I absolutely love that bag. With that as the exception, I don't need any more black bags. I have so many. I've got the mini Chanel Classic Flap. I've got the 
medium Chanel classic flap in caviar leather with silver hardware. I have the YSL small Lulu in the chevron leather. Uh, I have a dozen mini watches in black in varying different styles and uh, you know different hardware types. I don't need any more black bags. I am good there. The next item I won't be adding to my list, or I will try very hard not to add to my list, is fast fashion. So any items or products that come from Zara, H&M, Forever 21, I find that investing in high quality clothing that are timeless, classic pieces that will stand the test of time and remain with you for many years to come is the way to go. I did add three different sweaters to my collection this year from Krista Elsta on Etsy. It was the same sweater worn by Meghan Markle uh, in the recent Netflix documentary. I will link that video here so you can see it. I also added two sweaters from Everlane. I absolutely adore and love Everlane. I think they have wonderful products, as does Kuyana. These items are a little more pricey. They are definitely expensive and higher quality in terms of craftsmanship, fabric that they use. They will remain with you throughout your lifetime. People that I look up to in terms of fashion icons, Coco Chanel, Jackie O, Carolyn Bassett, Meghan Markle, Kate Middleton, Audrey Hepburn, I absolutely love all of their styles and I find that they will stand the test of time and remain with you for many years to come. My true favorite of all of them is probably Carolyn Bassett and Meghan Markle. Anything that I see them wear, I want. And I will tell you that there's pieces in my collection I purchased from three, four years ago from inspirations of both of them and they still remain relevant and in style today. The next item I won't be adding to my list in 2023, paper books. I find that in many cases you can find the paper book that you're looking for, either an electronic version, online, an audio book, or in many cases at your local library. I find that adding more books to my collection is adding more clutter to my household. And as I may or may not have mentioned, we are in the process of building our dream home. We are currently renting at a nearby apartment, the next town over, and we will eventually be moving back into our house. And the last thing I want to do is have to lug a bunch of heavy, big books with me. So for that reason, I will try to be a little more mindful in 2023 and not add any more paper books to my collection. Next up, items that I will be adding to my collection, practical, bags that I will get more use out of, bags that are crossbody, functional, that makes sense for a mom that is on the go, a little more casual that I can wear in my everyday and fit my everyday day-to-day -day lifestyle, bags that aren't as fragile or should I say delicate in the rain or for different types of weather. Where I live in New Jersey, the weather does tend to be uh, very cold in the winter, rainy and gloomy lately. So for that reason, I think it makes more sense to add investment piece bags that I can wear every day. Other items I will be investing in for 2023, activewear, good quality activewear. I've really taken this year to focus and reflect on investing in my health. And for that reason, I want to invest in Activewear such as Lululemon that wash well, wear well, and will stand the test of time, but classic pieces that are not trendy and will also remain relevant and in style for many years to come. Sneakers, good quality. They don't have to be designer sneakers. Nike has some great pairs of sneakers that I wear. Adidas, New Balance. I do want to add a pair of New Balance sneakers to my collection for this year. Uh, I find that they're comfortable and for me comfort is everything. Uh, as I'm getting older I really focus more on comfort and what is practical and fits in my everyday lifestyle. As you know I have two boys so I'm constantly running around either carpooling, taking them to different activities. For me it just makes more sense to wear loafers or sneakers and more recently it has been sneakers. The next item I will be adding and focusing on is skincare products. You've heard me talk about this before and you may or may not have seen it in my February favorites video which I will link for you down below but I love skincare and I find that especially as a woman aging it is so important to invest in your skincare. 
beauty products aside, it's important that you invest in the skin that you have and take good care of your skin before piling on makeup. You'll get more out of your money's worth if you take good care of your skin in the first place. Retinoids, my creams, my under eye cream, my serums, my vitamin C, I think those are my staples and I will continue to invest in those throughout 2023. SPF is another piece that I will be investing. SPF is so important, not only for your face, but also for your hands, for your neck, for your chest, for your skin, your overall body. If you're out in the sun, you should be protecting yourself. The next item I will be investing in, hats. Hats that protect you from the sun, particularly in the summertime. If you're out and about, I tend to be very active in the summer with my children. We try to go to the beach or the pool or spend a lot of time outdoors. We take our dog for walks. And oftentimes I find that SPF is just not enough. You do have to protect your face by having a nice wide brimmed hat that will protect you from the sun and help keep you cool. I believe it's Janessa Lenore or Leon. I'm getting the name wrong, but she makes some wonderful, beautiful hats. Kuyana has some beautiful hats. J. Crew has some great ones as well that are very uh, vacation friendly, beach friendly. And no matter where I'm traveling to, I always make sure I have a hat. In the wintertime, it tends to be baseball caps just because it's sporty. It fits my everyday life. I'm not really vacationing. In the summertime, I do like to add a little more style and thought into my highs. Panama or a wide brimmed hat that will go well with my outfit. On that note, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what no buy list items you have for 2023 by commenting down below. And if you haven't already, but you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and like this video and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.